Okay, uh, today is August the 20th, I believe it was. 22nd, correction, 22nd, August 22nd of 2019. Uh, I'm here at my local Walmart and been having a very interesting day. I had to come in here and grab a few things on my way home to take the old lady to work. And, uh, anyway, um, sorry about that. I got the few things I had to get paid after going inside. Well, on my way inside, I'll start like this. On my way into the Walmart, I noticed one of the cart returns was full to overflowing. And when I say overflowing, I mean it was halfway across the driveway so that cars parked across from it couldn't back out without moving all the carts and cars had to go around the whole pile single file either way they couldn't go both ways at once they had to wait for one aisle to clear one side to clear okay so i go inside i tell one of the employees there at the door about it and they said they'd get somebody out there i go and pick up the few things i was grabbing come back out and it's worse than it was when i went in now a car can barely squeeze by the stack okay so i call the store and this is at 1919 Davis Street, San Leandro, California. It is store number, I guess ST is supposed to be the store, uh, 02648. The manager is John Larkin. Anyway, I call the uh, operator in there. She says, okay, let me transfer you. Uh, over 30 minutes later, they hang up on me. Nobody ever answered. I sat there on hold the whole time. 30 plus minutes on hold? Come on. So anyway, I call back right away. And I'm sitting pretty much getting clo pretty close to empty. So, on the gas. So I was like, okay, well, I don't, I don't want to have to go back out there right now. So I call again. And like the third or fourth ring, somebody picks up the phone, hits two buttons, and hangs back up. And hangs up on me. Doesn't say anything, nothing. Okay. Third try. I asked to speak to the manager again. The lady says, okay, one moment. Puts me on hold. 20 minutes later, she picks up. And that was roughly 20 minutes, within a minute or two. She picks it back up and says, oh, well, none of the managers are answering, so I don't know what to do. And I said, well, okay, let me speak to CSM, customer service manager. They can help. Oh, well, they're not answering either. So you transfer me, try to transfer me to a CSM, or did you try to transfer me to a manager? Which one? She, you know, she she just said she wouldn't, that they weren't answering. Okay, fine. I'll come in and fi uh, complain to the manager myself. Now, I go in there. The assistant store manager is standing over there by the vision center talking to the CSM and two other employments. They're just sitting there laughing, having a good old time. As soon as I ask to speak to the manager or a CSM, the, man, the assistant manager says, oh, that would be her that you need to speak to. And she ran away. So I complained to the CSM. She's like, oh, okay, well, I'll talk to the operator and find out what's going on and we'll get that sorted out. Okay. And I told her, I said, this is an ongoing problem with this store over roughly the last six months, maybe a little longer. And she says, well, we haven't been getting any complaints, so I don't know what's going on. Now, I know for a fact they've gotten complaints because I've complained. So, basically, she was blowing me off. So, now I'm going to YouTube. And, as I'm doing right now on my video, and I'm also going to be calling corporate tomorrow during the daytime. Let's see what corporate has to say. Because I'm tired of this. This is an ongoing problem. Okay, I'm going to handle it. I'm going to handle it the best way I can. And I'm also going to let corporate know that I filed a complaint through YouTube as well. By putting a video on YouTube, what they're doing. I told the CSM, I says, well, my buddy, he quit going here because he had the same problems. Disrespect for the customers. And this is an ongoing thing. And then while I'm walking out to the car, I'm talking to another customer. And she's having the same problem. Disrespect for the customers. So I told her, I said, start a YouTube channel, file a complaint on YouTube, turn around, go in the store, complain to the manager, go and call corporate, complain to corporate. 
you know, corporate's going to learn real quick they need to do something about this store. I mean, it's ridiculous. The store has self-checkout lanes, but you don't get to check yourself out. They actually have a cashier there that scans all your merchandise, and then you swipe your card like you would at a regular register. That's what they're doing now. They paid tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, to renovate the lawn and garden area and put self-checkout back there. It wasn't even open six months, and they'd already shut it down and taken the self-checkout registers back out. And most of the time, the lawn and garden exit stays closed. And this is just an example of how they've wasted their money, and they don't care about the customers. Ongoing issues. But other than that, at least I have to complain about asshole no more, or should I say my ex-landlord. I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on with this one Walmart and feel free to contact Walmart about the issues and question them. Yeah, I want Walmart to know they're screwing up here. Please comment, like, and subscribe and have a wonderful night and I will keep you up to date on what's going on with corporate tomorrow.